Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a best emulated Android system. This is going to work on any Android device, this is going to work on any Android version. So, it doesn't matter the phone you use, it doesn't matter the version you're running on your Android device. This is going to work on it easily. So, before this video, I want to ask you if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, give the notification to connect further by new video, and let's get started. So as I just said, I'm going to be showing you, I mean, I'm going to be sharing with you a best emulated Android system. In my case, in my opinion, this is the best emulated Android system. On this emulator, there will be available root SS on it and Google Play Store will be working as well perfectly. So the link will be available on the description of this video. Download, install it on your Android device. But first of all, we are going to make some changes on your Android device to make the device work faster. I mean to make the emulator work faster so first of all open the setting of your android device go to setting of your android device scroll down to the last option about phone or about device as we always do about phone all right now find the build number here on the uh, android system find the build number Clicking on it around seven time to unlock the developer app show. We need to unlock the developer app show. Clicking on with the number around seven time to do that to unlock the developer app show. I have you already did that. I have you already unlocked the developer app show. I am already a developer. Now find the developer app show on your Android setting. Is available right over here. If you can't find this option, developer option, just type, just click right over here in the, in the cheesy icon right over here to a. Alright, it's going to be just like this. Scroll down, find this option saying USB the booking mode right over here. Enable it by clicking right over here in the corner. Click it OK if it ask you. You don't need to worry about it. This step it won't hurt your device, it's just going to make the emulator faster. Scroll down, find this option saying window animation is key. You need to disable the animation of the win uh, of the window animation key. Put the animation off by clicking on the first option, animation off. Do the same process on here transition animation. Put the animation of animator duration to the same process as I did on window animation. Make sure to enable this option saying for GPU render as well. Enabled. Alright. Alright, now download the virtual system that I'm gonna be giving to you. The link will be available in the description of this video. As I just said, download installed on your phone. It doesn't have a virus, you don't need to worry about it. It's 100% safe and easy to do. Just download this application, the download installed on your device. All right, download the application installed on your phone. You don't need to worry about it, it doesn't have a viral. And open it up by clicking right over here in the corner on open, clicking on it. All right, once you have opened the application, it's going to be like this. The application, it is in Chinese. Just to click right over here on the right over here on this option. I don't know exactly what they say. Clicking on it. Swap to the right to proceed. Swap one more time to the, to the right to proceed. And click right over here. To open this option, click right over here on this option again. Alright, the application is asking me to give it a permission. Don't need to worry about it. Just to give you all the permission to the application, it won't hurt your device, as I just said. Now, just click right over here on this other option, right over here. Click right over here on this option to give you all the permission to the application, give you all the access to the app. Okay, by doing that, the application will start to initialize it. What you have to do, just be patient and wait. It, it won't take you too long, just one minute, two minutes, depending on your device. Well, as you can see, the room now has initialized it. The virtual system has now initialized it. Just click it out over here to proceed here one more time. All right, as you can see, by doing that, uh, the emulator will initialize. 
it's going to be just like this what are you going to do first we are going to change this language first of all we are going to change the chinese to do that just click right over here on the setting icon to switch the language scroll down tz and find the word icon right over here clicking on it Click on the first option right over here. Click on the second one right over here. By doing that, you will have there a, a lot a lot of language you can change. Uh, you can choose the word that you want to apply on your on your system. Take the image to the first place. All right, we have now changed the language. Okay, now I'm gonna be. We are going to make some change on this emulator to make a, a to work faster. To do that, just to go to setting of your emulator. Scroll down to the last option about phone or about device. It's gonna be probably about phone. Clicking on it. There you go and find the build number on the last option right over here. Clicking on it around seven time to activate the, the developer option as we did on the start. Clicking on it around seven time, you are now a developer. Just to return, find there on your list the developer option. If you can't find the developer option here, just to click right over here in the kind of the cheesy icon and type it there developer. My case is available right over here. Developer option, open the developer option, scroll down, make sure to enable this option USB to pick in mode as well. Click right over here in the kind of to do that. Click it OK if I ask you. Don't need to worry about it. This application is 100% safe. Here on window animation skill, disable the animation, put the animation off. Do the same process on transition. Animation off. Animator to the same process. Disable the animation. Scroll down. Find this option saying first GPU rendering. You need to disable this as well by clicking right over here and the kind of, I mean, you need to enable this, sorry. Enable the first GPU rendering. Okay, you can return it now, you can return. By doing that, you will have there the emulator running on your Android device. One of best emulator with root SS on it, with a Google Play Store installed on it, working perfectly. To find that if this have root SS, we are going to install here the root shaker to do that. To install application on this emulator, just click right over here on this application. Click on it. By doing that, it will open this window. You can import some file if you want. By doing that, th these are all the applications which are installed on your Android device. I want to install the root shaker to find out if this have root SS. Just click the application that you want to install and click right over here to install the application on system. By doing that, the application will start installing. As you can see, it's heavy installed now. Just return. Um, return one more time. Return. As you can see, we have it installed. We have just installed the root shaker. Open it up the root shaker. Click on agree, swap to the right, swap to the right one more time, and click right over here on get started. Alright, just click right over here on verify root. By doing that, the application will start to verify and it's going to tell you if your phone has root SS or not. As you can see, congratulations, root SS is properly installed on this device. This emulator is very nice, it's very fast, it's very clean. You can install any kind of game that you want, like a PUBG, Free Fire, or anything like that. As I just said, if you want to install some application, just click right over here on this icon. And the, and the application will start, it will show up there any kind of game that any kind of application that is installed on your Android device. Just click on it by doing that, the application will start be uh, installed on the new system easy and simple it's going to work on any android device easy easy and safe of course okay guys i will start from here this video help you out if this video help you out please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet i leave a notification to get notified about new video and i see you guys on the next one peace out